our sponsors, we've got uh, Twilio, Mashery, Nokia, and Microsoft. We've got four uh, sponsor presentations. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do some quick team formations. So welcome to the lab. I run the, uh, the engineering group here. I just want to spend a couple minutes talking about the Calhoun lab and then our prize and some ideas that came out of the previous hackathon to hopefully you know, give you guys some ideas moving forward. We've got three different labs. Uh, San Francisco and New York clearly make sense, and then, you know, why on earth are we in Clarendon, Virginia? Uh, it's not traditionally the tech hub of the country, but uh, there's actually a lot of research went into this. So we've got a main campus in McLean, and then we did a lot of uh, searching around the area to see where stars have come up in the past few years, and we tried to sandwich ourselves in between the main campus and uh, where the, the tech ecosystem is here. It worked out pretty well. My name is Amit. I am a developer evangelist for Mastery Company. Show of hands, how many people have heard of Mastery here? Awesome. Uh, manager of APIs, companies like New York Times, USA Today, Cloud, Best Buy, User API. So in linear terms, uh, when US developers make calls to any of these APIs, it flows through Mastery's proxy network. Uh, my name is Kevin and I'm a developer evangelist for a company called Twilio. Uh, for those of you who uh, maybe don't know what Twilio is, uh, Twilio makes it really easy for developers to send and receive text messages, uh, to make and receive phone calls, and also to embed uh, voice over IP uh, calling functionality yeah. into browser-based uh, web applications uh, or native uh, mobile applications for Android or iOS. So my name is Frank Levine. I work for a small company based in Seattle called Microsoft. Um, you may have heard of us. I'm going to talk to you today about uh, some programs we have going on to encourage you to develop apps for our platform. I've also created this utility called Shazap uh, that will let you create apps, uh, Windows 8 apps in minutes. And uh, I know we're running behind time, but uh, I think it'll be worth kind of a quick run through for it. If you'd like a more detailed explanation of it, I'd be happy to tell you. Uh, we also have a program called um, Keep the Cache. I'm going to talk to you today about Shazap uh, or creating a Windows 8 app so fast it's startling. Uh, it kicks up your application development. See, I said this would be the best, right? So uh, it kicks it up to ludicrous speed, and um, we'll see exactly how ludicrous that is. Um, so my team's been working on a set of starter kits that are basically taking some built-in templates from Visual Studio and bringing in APIs. Actually, uh, we've been working with some of the APIs from Nashville, like Rotten Tomatoes, Edmunds.com. I myself worked on uh, a starter kit where I take the meetup.com API, do kind of a local search for meetups of interest. You can throw in a keyword search um, to tell it where you want to search, um, and then look for local points of interest based on the Bing Maps API. <laughs> When can I stop? Right. <laughs> and when can I stop? And uh, demo started. Let's okay. go. Um, our app is called Spring Cleaning. And it's for, like, when you're cleaning out your garage, there's people who own stuff in there, and, like, you need to decide what to do with it. So I decide whether I want to keep it or trash it, so I'm going to keep that. And then I, when I have everything done, it says done, and it sends all of us a text message that it's time to vote. The original trial plan for me was what would be cool if we use the iPad as a feature enhanced restaurant menu. We started taking the idea literally, what if you're in the restaurant with an iPad and you use the iPad to look at the menu and place an order and pay for the order. Um, so how many guys uh, spend too much time playing online with your mobile games today? Okay. How many would you get something real out of that time that you spent playing those games? Okay. Call it new direction. <laughs> it's, um, we know that most banks, taking loans and giving loans is such a, a huge process that it's, it's really uh, hard to manage. So instead, we allow people to uh, give money to other people. So Gentlemen, uh, two -thirds, over two-thirds of the U.S. population live from paycheck to paycheck. And uh, to solve that particular unfortunate situation, we could create it, save my cap. What's in your pocket? That's right, we're going to take that one. Uh, uh, you can use Save My Cap. Well, in fact, let me see what's in my wallet or my pocket. Let me see. Oh, yes. 
That's for you. And that's for you. And by using this app, we all can stretch our eyes. <laughs> Let's give out some more stuff. Definitely recognize all of the young developers that we have in our audience today. Let's give it up. It was really hard because uh, uh, there were a lot of good entries for Surface uh, and, and uh, folks who use our technology. And I have to say, after having done the last one, I'm very excited. Uh, Microsoft, we'd say super excited that there's a lot more solutions on Windows. So I want to thank everyone who participated in our platform. And everyone who didn't participate in our platform, consider us next time. Uh, two solutions kind of stood out as, as, as comprehensive uh, solutions or they solve problems. Uh, the first would be uh, spring cleaning. I like the concept. Ooh. Uh, hold the hold the device up so you can see. Yeah, there it is. There it is. one I thought was an interesting uh, solution in terms of um, when you think of the amount of time that's wasted on, on kind of these online social games. I, I have to say I like the idea behind uh, Solve Me and the fact is it Solve Me Resolve Me? What's it called? Solve for me. Um, and the fact that they also support our platform I thought was really cool. Last night was the first time I fired up Windows 8, by the way. I did like two exercises with Contoso Cookbook and mm -hmm. to repair. So, I yeah. saw that icon. <laughs> a concierge service uh, when you walk into a branch. And so uh, a lot of great ideas. So thanks for, for, um, for submitting this. The one that we thought uh, was most kind of relevant to what's on, on the top of our mind right now was Vista Slate. Uh, the, the ability to go into a branch and uh, and kind of have your own digital concierge. So give it up for Business League for winning the Capcom <laughs> Amazing, amazing day. Like, you, you know, just let's all give ourselves a round of applause. For this. <laughs> you guys are the ones actually getting ahead of everybody else when you come in on a Saturday and spend 12 hours and code and do this. I mean, this is like, this is really amazing stuff.